Hello everyone, this is CC again and today I'm going to do uh, my recently uh, uh, parcel received doing an unboxing so what it related to? it related to the Mickey anniversary uh, special limit edition as the people who follow my YouTube uh, you can see I did unboxing for two different products from from two different stores about like the Mickey 90 anniversary today I'm going to do Mickey anniversary part 2 which is the something special before I'm going to the topic I'm going to talk about something was happening on the day I received the parcel itself uh, that I ordered the parcel online and you know I paid because of the Disney you know logo everything it cost me a hundred buck plus so you know for other website if you spend a hundred plus they will give you free shipping unfortunately this website didn't do that and they asked me to pay eight dollars shipping because of the this I'm a Disney friend so I'm more willing to pay the shipping fee if they will provide a good quality shipping company however they I'm not sure which company they are using and I received the email on yeah the day before yesterday so I uh, from the company is called Sandal and I decide to you know to get my parcel you know so excited because because I'm working so I don't have the time to you know to get the parcel and and at that day my husband was at home so basically they should knock our door but instead they just left a you know pick up paper pick up postcard for us to pick up from their uh, favorite location location which is the BP station <sighs> and I received the email it says your parcel is ready to collect after work so I decide to go with my husband to pick up the parcel from our nearest BP BP petrol station uh, which is on their you know collecting parcel card then the nightmare starts what was happening is we went we went to that BP petrol station and as you can see as you can imagine you know how busy it, it is you know when you pump petrol then the people coming and go coming and go to pay their petrol fees it's like that we went there around noon time uh, no afternoon time so around 3 p.m. after my work finish so we show to the yeah we we queue up then before like two or three people is you know was in front of us then we queue up and wait and wait finally it's our turn then I show to the staff saying like I need to pick up this parcel could you help me to pick up the parcel find the parcel and give to pass to me then the the staff told me oh sorry uh, because uh, you see there's a long queue behind paying for the petrol do you mind to wait yeah I'm okay to wait so we we decide to wait then came out of the queue and the staff start to serving the people behind us like you know like four or five people so we waited there then do nothing just standing there waiting the people behind us pay their petrol fees after that you know it was very busy then after that people continue coming then the staff saying oh sorry 
could you wait a little bit more then we yeah what can we do because only one staff there so she continuing continuously serving the people uh, newly coming into the store then after that four or five people went there I start feel a little bit angry because we were we we were waiting there we were we were queuing up and wait four people or five people I can't remember then after that newly people came in then we wait another four or five people then she still cannot give us the time to you know to find the parcel finally uh, like in between then there was one minute or two minute like free you know she finished serving the people start looking for our parcel then after the two minutes she can't she couldn't find it then she just said oh sorry uh, I couldn't find it then are you sure this is the location then uh, correct for pickup then I show on my uh, you know the email on my phone to the to the lady then she said oh uh, it's correct then she then start coming to the new you know the new people coming in to pay the petrol fees then she still asked us to you know wait and you know she trying to serve those people who paying the fees so we no choice have to wait then we wait another four or five people then she start looking seriously looking for the puzzle then key then she start to key in my you know puzzle code everything then to another computer another site so she said oh uh, it delivered it's already delivered to the store but I can't find it then I said could you just help us do more finding or something then she start looking you know uh, digging the parcel she said oh so many parcels during the Christmas and I say yeah but it's already here uh, supposedly should be here then she uh, when she was digging behind then she uh, again the new you know more people coming in to pay the petrol so she asked us to wait again then I feel so angry and say could you just serve us first because we wait for the four people in front then four or five people behind us and newly people coming in four or five people I can't even remember how many people we wait and wait so at that time because I showing a little bit annoying you know angry face then she start to take seriously then to help us finally help us to seriously looking for the parcel then after that finally the parcel has been found then later another two people came in then she said oh please wait then she served those two people then later she finally doing her did her you know computer work then after that passed to the parcel to to me and ask for my ID everything I handed the ID to her then she pa finally passed the parcel that is the whole story behind yeah I don't mind to pay $8 but is it worthy to pay $8 to to have this kind of service I don't think so so I wrote complaint letters to the company and I wrote on my Instagram as well because I feel so annoyed to get the service like this then I have to pay a dollar if you this company yeah I'm going to open the parcel yeah now I can say the name is Frank Green the bottle company so if you watching if you are watching my YouTube please do something please please find a peaceful peaceful place not the petrol station because you know petrol station how many people are paying for the petrol so then you push you add more things to the girl I feel like she is very busy you know yeah I understand how busy she is but the thing is I need I'm busy you know my time is valuable as well so I understood so please find another peaceful place for pickup only 
So let the girl doing the petrol things. So don't give her too much stress. So that's my story. Then let's get start to unbox my new puzzles. Dun -dun -dun. Here it is. This is the puzzle box. Then they ship to me. Yeah, this is the outside puzzle. Then it's like that. Then I'm going to open with you. Actually, I on that day I opened it already, but I just had a sneak peek. So let's let me open the puzzle with you guys. As you can see, it's the Disney Limit Edition. I bought one pink one and one blue one. One is for me and one is for my husband. So I hope he can use this photo, yeah, to you know to let him to get a good happy to drink more water. You know, you know here summer is coming. Then yeah. We have to drink a lot of water and you know Australia is very dry place So I don't want anyone to de get dehydration in you know In here then so that's why we bought this bottle I bought this bottle for me and my husband and I just opened one for you to see this is mine then this is the pink color, you know, this is with the logo on it, paper logo, and this is the Mi Minnie Mouse. Yeah, this this photo attract me so much because I'm a pink, you know, pink color lover. So I like this pink, and I like this simple Minnie Mouse design on the top. As you can see, clear look. Yeah, focus. So it's so pretty and this one is as you can see from from here from the paper itself it's 550 595 mo bottle and this is the stainless steel so which means we can use in summer and winter so if I put the cold water inside it will maintain cold on their website it says up to 10 hours and if I put hot water in winter so it also can maintain the temperature for t up to 10 hours then here is the button to open the holes you can drink you can drink from here then I don't know what's this for so then you just press the button to close the holes and I'm going to open this with you guys so it has like this the bottle and something I don't know what's that plastic thing on the cap and oh it has something inside as you can see a paper thing a card thing inside I'm going to digging it out yeah this is I think it's the app thing yeah behind got the code so I'm not going to show you the code just show you the front I think it's the app I'm going to you know reject it it's the Frank Green hydration yeah I think this is the app yeah that's that is the photo just show you a, guys again pink color with the mini mouse and the cap inside like this and this is the button to open the holes for you to drink yeah that's it stainless steel inside and And just show quickly yeah because the other bottle is exactly same thing but just the outside looking is different I just roughly I just roughly show you guys how it looks like mm -hmm. 
I just moved out the wrapping. <coughs> Excuse me. Move all this. Yeah, my husband's one is like this. Mickey! Oh no! As you can see, from behind is the front grain. But the thing is, they have a scratch here. It comes like this. Frank Green, can I get refund please? Not refund, exchange, sorry. Can I get exchange please? Yeah. That's it. Just one scratch. From here, I don't know who scratched it. I didn't open this one. Totally, I didn't open this one. I don't know why it has the scratches. And pink one, let me check. Now pink one is still okay. So in this case, so I think when you wash this bottle in the long run, it will have the scratches here and there. And but the thing is, this is so cute. It's got Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, I like it so much. So Mickey, Minnie, yeah, Mickey and Minnie together. Wow, so cute. Actually, this this kind of limit edition was showing on my friend's instant one of my friend's Instagram. I saw it, but she bought it's like the coffee cup instead of the Mickey and mini bottles. But the coffee cup are cute as well. So I, you know, I during the time I was very, you know. I has hesitate between the coffee cup or the bottles. I I asked my husband. I asked my husband which one should I choose. Then my husband uh, gave me the that really answer by a question: Which one do you use more frequently? So I thought I'm not a coffee fan. So perhaps we didn't we won't bring the coffee cup much outside so but the thing is I need a bottle you know to work and to drink so I decide to purchase the bottle and plus um, I need hot drink you know hot water in winter so, so this bottle can satisfy all my needs so that's why I decide to purchase two bottles instead of two coffee cups yeah if you yeah if you want to purchase this kind of thing just choose what you need and don't just purchase something you don't need that is my you know my shopping tips so I usually purchase the thing I really need it and I will definitely use it in the past yes I bought a lot of useless stuff and I waste a lot of money when I start working I know how hard to earn just 200 bucks you know or you know for Especially for the salary and you know when you saw government took the tax Then after tax you just got that little much then you thought like oh I I put a hundred percent passion into the work then It's like Yeah, they treat me good But when you just sort your account then just get back a little bit then you know how hard it is to you know to earn money so you will cherish all the things you bought you will purchase I don't know cause in the past something was happened on me so I rest at home then all depends on my husband's income because it's other people no not, not me no because not my my hardworking money so I don't think that much so yeah I feel so sorry to spend my husband hardworking money 
now I know how hard to earn money, then I will, yeah, then I start to think twice, three times, four times, five times, until like a whole week, I'm thinking I need it, then I decide to purchase the product because on YouTube a lot of you know youtuber give you like unboxing this unboxing that so you have to really think about like what what product you really need it then you start to purchase it that's my you know experience it's my advice to you guys then so now I will be more careful to spend every cent in Australia because you know hard working money then yeah it's like that so thank you you guys watching my video if you like if you like my video please give me a thumb up and please please subscribe my channel and I'm more willing to provide more you know videos to you guys and my interesting happening stuff to you guys then please um, give me thumb up as a you know encouragement for me to make more videos to you guys and that's all for today's Mickey 90 anniversary part 2 then if if I will purchase any Mickey stuff I need in the future I will make more videos and that's all then please uh, waiting my other videos to come out and I'll see you guys next time see you have a nice day